Okay, so this is Windows Tiny 11 running on a Raspberry Pi 4, running from my SSD drive, and it's playing at 720 and not dropping very many frames. Uh, it feels pretty snappy. I haven't played around with it a lot, but I thought I'd do a tutorial on how to install it first of all. And this is thanks to a comment from Agrado10. He wrote a fix in one of his tweets, so apparently there's an issue with Tiny 11 for ARM64 where it says the installation cannot be completed and it's all listed in the YouTube video. I thought it was gonna be as simple as this, shift and F10 and type MSOBE, but there are more steps. And if we go to NT Devs video, all the information's in here, but I'm gonna take it from the start on how to get it installed on a Raspberry Pi. Now I'm gonna show the method with using a Windows device to do this install, because that's how it's worked for me. Um, but there shouldn't be any reason that Windows Flasher wouldn't work exactly the same with the Tiny 11 ISO. Now regular viewers may notice my desk is looking a lot tidier than normal. Uh, that's because this wall behind is being uh, smashed out and this will be part of my kitchen. I'm having uh, some renovations at the moment. So for the next couple of weeks, wow, well, maybe four weeks, uh, I'll have some disruption, but I've still got videos I'm planning. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna record them or where I'm gonna record them or what setup. It may even be on my TV, uh, like this 52 pi aluminium NAS case. Uh, which I haven't tested yet, haven't even opened, but it supports a SATA drive, looks really cool. Uh, so I only got this today. But I'm gonna do this on my Melee Mini PC. You can see this uh, installation is updating. I've just went to shut it down and it's updating. So at least it takes updates. But let's plug this in. And still, oh, there you go, it looks like it's finished. Yeah, the voltage is dropping, so it's shutting down properly now. So let's put my Logitech mouse keyboard in there. I've already got the ISO on this USB stick, which is basically the Windows Tiny 11 file. And I'm gonna install this onto an SD card because I know it works on an SSD drive. So let's pop that into here. There we go. And switch that on. Okay, so first up, let's open up a browser and go to ntdev on YouTube, and you'll find links to the ISO in the description, and maybe on mtdev's Twitter. Uh, I'm not gonna link to the ISO file. So when you download that file, I've got mine on that USB stick that I put in, uh, it looks like this. So 4.17 gig, Tiny 11 A64. Then what we need to do is do a search for WOR Pi 4 and go to Downloads, and see this version here, download version 2.3.1, and then I'm gonna right click on the desktop and create a new folder, and I'm gonna call it WOR. Now let's open this download, and then click on a file and press Control A, and just drag that over to that newly created folder. and I can close all this down now. So this tool in here is basically the WOR writer. This writes ISO files to your SD card or SSD drive. So if we click on WOR and more info, obviously do this at your own risk and run anyway, and yes. And this talks you through all your different options. So we hit next. So the storage device, this is what we're writing Windows to. I'm gonna use an SD card and a Raspberry Pi 4, and hit OK, and next. Then the image file, so this is the Tiny11 ISO file that we've downloaded. You're looking for the big file, which is this one, 4.17 gig, hit open. Sometimes it doesn't mount the ISO first time, just try it again, it usually works the second time. There you go, so it's done it first time for me. Hit next. and accept, and everything is fine there. So I'm gonna hit install, and come back when this is all finished. Okay, so nearly there, just installing the drivers now. Okay, so installation has completed, so we can eject that now, and pop that into our Pi 4, and just switch this cable over, and switch on and don't press anything, just let it do its thing. This does take quite some time. And eventually this spinning wheel will start, that's starting to install Windows. And another change. 
So everything's looking good so far. So when the setup goes wrong at this point, you need to press Shift and F10. I have to press the Function button as well on this keyboard. And this pop-up comes up. And we need to type in net user administrator forward slash active colon es and hit return. The command completed successfully. Now we need to type in regedit and this comes up. And at this point, my mouse didn't work on my other setup and I just used tab to move around and the cursors, but my mouse seems to be working now. So H key local machine, system, and click on the setup folder. And then double click on command line. And we need to type in cmd.exe and hit OK. Then OOBE, double click on that. And change this value to zero and OK. Then respecialize C and change this to cmd.exe then setup phase and change that to zero and OK then set up change that to a zero and hit OK then set up type change that to a zero and OK then system setup Change that to a zero and press OK. And then we can close this down. And close this down. And press OK. And the system will reboot and should carry on the Windows installation. When this pop-up comes up again, just type in exit and hit enter. And you can see Windows is starting up. And this is all your standard Windows setup. And we're in, so if I press the Windows key, and say start typing about. We can go to about your PC and we can see that it's a Raspberry Pi and it's eight gig and at the moment it's not overclocked. Now I've just switched back to my SSD installation because it's much faster and I've been playing around with it already. Um, but uh, if you want more information and what works, head over to the Windows on Raspberry Pi Discord where you'll get all sorts of information. If you click on the information tab, uh, I'll put a link in the description to this, and scroll down, this shows you all the things that are currently working. So uh, we don't have Wi-Fi support, hardware Wi-Fi support. I've got a workaround video uh, to be able to enable Wi-Fi with a Vonitz adapter, but I generally use Ethernet. Uh, and also we don't have GPU acceleration as well. But if you've got any more questions, it's worth heading over to the Windows on Raspberry Pi Discord and asking on there, or in the comments, and someone else may be able to answer it. And I've got videos on my playlist on how to overclock and, uh, well, optimization probably isn't needed anymore with this tiny build, but uh, there may be some tips in there that are worthwhile. And I've also got some things of me showing uh, games and all sorts of things running. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.